Hey, my name is Dave Rollins and welcome to this drum tutorial on foot techniques. In this video we're going to cover five different patterns to help you develop more control and speed in your feet. Let's get started. First up is four on the floor. Four on the floor means quarter notes on our kick drum. Now we're going to try this two different ways. We're going to try it heel down and we're going to try it heel up, playing from the balls of our toes. Let's take a closer look at both of these patterns. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. One, one, two. One, two, three, four. This next pattern incorporates the left foot. We're going to play four on the floor with our right foot, and then on beats two and four, we're going to play a hi-hat. Now, the technique we're going to use here is that we're going to play the quarter note with our heel, and then we're just going to lift up the top of our foot, the balls of our toes, the entire foot, on beats two and four to create our open. So we're going to have one, two, three, four. Let's take a closer look. Two, one, two, three, four, 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 one, one, two, one, two, three, four. This next pattern incorporates splashes on beats two and four with our left foot. Now a splash is created by pressing your heel in on the hi-hat and allowing the two cymbals to splash together. Now we're going to play a kick drum on beats one and three and splashes on beats two and four with our left foot. Let's take a closer look. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four. This next pattern is two notes on our hands and two notes on our feet. Now this is going to help us improve our doubles on our right foot. So we're going to do right, left, kick, kick, right, left, kick, kick. It's a sixteenth note pattern. And make sure you play from the balls of your toes and don't sink the beater into the head. We want the beater to rebound out of the drum head so that we're able to get a really open and consistent double sound. Let's take a closer look. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Last up is an example of pressing the beater into the drum head. Now sometimes I use this, but I use it more for effect. 
I typically don't want to sink the beater into the head because the, then the drum's not going to resonate. So our exercise is the first pattern I'm going to play off of the head. I'm going to allow the drum to be open and the groove is going to be relaxed. It's going to sit very nicely. Then the next groove, I'm going to sink the beater into the head and I'm really going to push the groove a little bit more. We're going to do the same tempos on these, but the second one should have a little bit more drive to it. Let's take a closer look. One, two, one, two, three, four, one, and two, and a three, and four, and one, and two, and a three, and four, and one, and two, and a three, and four, and one, and two, and a three, and four, and one, one. Two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. One and two and a three and four and one and two and a three and four and one and two and a three and four and one and two and a three and four and one two one two three four.